Hi everyone! We've put together some Ashcan Studio students' work that are examples of the excellent work top art schools and university art programs look for in a potential student, and we're going to talk about why. A good exercise is to pause at each image and think about or write down why you think they're good portfolio pieces. This student made a painting of herself and then broke it down into pixels and made tiny paintings on thick translucent squares for each pixel and reconstructed them together on top of the painting to make this self-portrait. This self-portrait is such a strong art portfolio piece because it takes the traditional self-portrait and pushes the idea much further. It's playful, it shows inventiveness, a willingness to try uncommon materials, and the intricacy of the details. It's actually over 550 mini paintings on top of the original painting, so it shows a dedication to art making. To the top art schools and art programs, these are ideal traits for a potential student. This is another excellent take on a standard self-portrait. It seems simple at first, but it's not at all. There are a lot of different things the student could be trying to say about themselves here. It's relatable and vulnerable without being obvious. It's playful and serious at the same time. It's also meticulously well drawn and painting and painted, and she takes up the entire page. This is a very different feeling self-portrait. You can imagine the difference in the personalities of the student who made the last piece and the student who made this one. Or maybe it was just a mood they were in one day when they came up with the idea. This painting is powerful because it's dramatic. The content is dramatic and the composition is dramatic. They're large in the foreground, the umbrellas sort of fall and dance across the street in the middle ground, and then the scaffolding poles are small and detailed in the background, all pulling us through the composition and into her story. And the great choice to use only black and white and gray is unusual for a painting and adds to the moodiness and drama. This self-portrait is a great example of how color affects mood. It's more than visual, it's psychological. Blue is calming, but it can also feel melancholy. So when this artist paints themselves with warm flesh tones and then adds a separate similar self-portrait painted with blue, cool blue tones, it feels even more like a division of two feelings or two ways of being. And then the third element is held between the two sides. The stark black background makes the face seem more like a mask, which adds to the narrative. And it's also very skillfully painted. This is also very skillfully drawn. Every inch, every centimeter of this portrait is well drawn. In it, she's dreaming of being someplace else. So we see a cityscape and a landscape. And the portrait is from two different perspectives, the front and the back. This one's great because it's sculptural, which most students don't do. And it's the same figure, slightly different, repeated. It's playful, it shows inventiveness and a willingness to try uncommon materials. This self-portrait creates a mood and a narrative. Each landscape has the same dreamy, serene, and somber feeling, as does the posture of the figure that's repeated. You can make a self-portrait like this with photos you've taken of the places you've traveled, or the rooms in your house, or the places you like. This would not work as well if all of the elements didn't have the same sensibility. This is another more dreamlike fairy tale narrative version of the same idea. Uh, this still life is good because it's vibrant and exciting and the crop sort of sideways angle is unusual and it's very well drawn. And this is another version of the same still life idea. This one's quite different feeling. The artist has included themselves, their hand is holding the candle, and they've added a subtle imaginative element with the angel and the devil in the flame. This is a pretty standard still life. Uh, what you'd think of when you think of a still life, but we included it because for a standard still life, it's very well done. There is a triangular composition, which you can never really go wrong with, and there's a nice range of darks and lights. Mixed media work is great to add to your portfolio. Uh, this student painted a wash on a piece of paper and then intuitively added elements, gluing on shapes and cut out images, drawing and painting on the paper. Try something like this several times and you may be pleasantly surprised with what you come up with. This is also something that would make a great sketchbook page or pages. Working with translucent paper called vellum and layering the paper can have a really nice effect. You can trace, paint, use marker, or make a printer print, etc. of the same image on vellum paper and then collage and layer them. This artist chose to do this with portraits of people. You can take events that are seemingly unrelated to the viewer and draw, paint, and collage images of them and tie them together in one piece. The effect is a mysterious narrative. In your sketchbook, draw specifics from a couple of different memories and then think of what visual element would tie them all together. 
In this collage, the student used carefully chosen pattern paper, which you can find hundreds, if not thousands, of different pattern papers, like at Michael's. Uh, this was made by gluing together cutouts of small strips or a different color paper. And you can cut out a whole assortment of color paper and strips and make entire portraits, landscapes, cityscapes, or still lifes out of them, and then paint and draw on top of them. We've made a few videos in the past about using food for inspiration. This student made these intricate sculptures inspired by sushi, which were photographed on a sushi tray, which is an important part of this portfolio piece. This large-scale sculpture was inspired by spaghetti. This student was a ballerina as well as an aspiring art student, so she made an entire cardboard sofa that she covered with her used point shoes. Do you have another interest that you could make a portfolio piece about, like this student did with his interest in playing the guitar? Or this student with her interest in the dragonfly as a symbol of wisdom, change, transformation, light, and adaptability in life, which they use throughout their portfolio. And lastly, we have an animation. Animations take a considerable amount of more time and effort, but the outcome is that much more rewarding and makes for an excellent portfolio piece. Whether it's 2D or 3D stop motion animation, do some research and give it a try. If you need help making work for your art portfolio, Ashcan's portfolio prep classes are a great place to start. We have online classes now, so no matter where you are, you can develop your skills and ideas with the guidance of our outstanding teachers and programs.